Okay, so in this next lesson we've got Matt Gasky riding, also a pride uh, rider. Um, he's riding a young five-year-old thoroughbred horse that's a pre-novice eventer. Had a couple, I think, three starts pre-novice. Came to us uh, as a young horse and we've just been producing him along. Idea is to get him up the grades and then as we do here, sell him on. Um, this horse is one of these wee horses that just takes a little bit of time. He's a little bit reactive like some thoroughbreds. He's got a lot of blood. Um, very good jumper. We've had to concentrate a lot on him on just keeping him smooth and soft to the fence and not when he reacts the horse, we've got to become a rider that just stays nice and soft and doesn't react with the horse. Where Matt sometimes finds him a little bit tricky as he wants to flick his head and stuff. So we've been you know, just playing around with different bits in his mouth. At the moment, we've found that we've got just a lovely Steuben straight bar bit snaffle links on it which works really really good we can then take a you know a good constant feel on the bridle and the horse stays nice and soft in the mouth today we're just doing just a few little exercises we won't jump this horse very big we want him to get to the fence and just get there nice and soft land stay soft not react after the fence what we have to work on a little bit with matt is we have to work a little bit with him where he starts to learn that when you land you stay soft then you get organized get the horse soft before you get to the next fence so if we've got a distance of like a seven or an eight stride distance we have to get a little bit early on the horse so that when you get to the sixth or seventh stride you're not wanting to put too much pressure on his mouth you're wanting to stay soft and let him get there and jump the fence in his own way so matt if you just start off we'll just do a little bit of walk, trot and canter on him, get him nice and soft, maybe a couple of times over the rails on the ground. I've shortened them up a little bit this time. I think it's just an easy five. So if you just come straight away off your left rein, quiet canter, think about getting him to the rail on the ground nice and straight. Making sure we look nice and early, thinking about our inside bend, supporting it with an outside leg and rein. Very good. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. Yeah, and don't allow him just to drift that little bit on the second stride there when he wanted to come in a little bit on your left leg. Think about squeezing with your left knee and opening your right rein a little bit so he stays straight. He must always stay straight after his fence. Doesn't matter whether it's a jump or it's a rail on the ground. Thinking straight. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, much better. So straight away, Matt, there you see the difference is the first time you went over it, you're here. That time you stayed straight and you're over to the right a little bit more and then he strayed straighter through his shoulders. Very good. One, two, three, four, five. Squeeze your left knee. Much better. Feel that? Yeah. Very good. Very good. Now this time we'll get four strides on it. So think about it a little bit. Er ah, good decision. Making sure you've got your canter nice and early. You can't land and then chase him. Say moving through the corner. One, two, three, four. Very good. Very good. Now it's half halt him, sit him up, and get the four again. As you approach the turn, think about staying tall, upper body. One, two, three, four. Very good. And then just quietly come back to a trot, get a simple change, change direction. Ah, good, good, much better in the bridle. Nice even feel on the bridle. Keeping a nice straight line from the bit to your wrist to your elbow, nice and straight. Don't let your hand drop too low. Good, push him out a little bit. Think about what you're going to do in the transition, wait, and then soft with the fingers. Very good. 
So what we've had to work on with this horse a lot is not getting him to react in his transitions. Get the five. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. He's improved a lot, like over time. When he first came to us, he was a horse that would react all the time and get a little bit tense. So we've had to just do lots and lots of basic stuff. As riders, this is what we concentrate a lot on. Grow tall with your eye. Very good. And then we'll catch it once and get the four stride. Let him canter a bit more now. Good. With this horse too, when, we, when we've done these few little exercises, when we go to the fence to jump him, you'll see us, we have him a little bit more open at the fence so he just gets here nice and soft. Very good. Ah, very good. Right, I let him have a walk. Good. Give him a pat, make it fast. 